350,000 is the number of children born to illegal immigrants every year on American soil. According to legal policy analyst John Fear, as has been the practice of, for the United States for over 150 years since the end of the Civil War, all children born on U.S. soil are granted American citizenship upon birth. Should children of illegal immigrants who are born on U.S. soil be granted citizenship? I hope to persuade you that the, that the United States should not abolish birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants. Three reasons for this include the necessity for economic growth, social stability, and to uphold the American ideals. The legal precedence for birthright citizenship of children who are born on U.S. soil to parents of illegal immigrants is found in the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Section number one, which states, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. This amendment was initially included in the Constitution following the end of the Civil War as a result of the debate surrounding the legal citizenship status of freed slaves. As an aside, it should be noted here that the legal development of the 14th Amendment was as a result an attempt to curb and rectify legislative racism. So from the beginning of the establishment of birthright citizenship in the United States, we have set up laws to protect against fears and prejudices of different racial or ethnic backgrounds. Such legal protection upholds the dignity and value of the, all the people who we confess are created equal. But apart from the clear moral aspect of caring for the children of illegal immigrants, I want to focus on three arguments for why abolishing birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants would be detrimental to the United States as a whole. First, the United States should not abolish birthright citizenship for, gen for children of illegal immigrants because it is necessary for the continued economic growth of the United States. Former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan said that illegal immigration makes a significant contribution to U.S. economic growth by providing a flexible workforce. By not only providing a safety valve as demand for workers rises and falls, there is little doubt that unauthorized that is, illegal immigration has made a significant contribution to the growth of our economy, Greenspan said. While there is a great need to create legal avenues for skilled and unskilled workers to enter the country legally, a necessary component for the economic stability of our nation that needs such workers to sustain our workforce, the answer to illegal immigration is not to punish the children of these immigrants by denying or removing their natural born citizenship which is granted to all people born on U.S. soil. Indeed, the impact of abolishing birthright citizenship for such children would not only cripple our country economically, but would disturb the social stability of our nation as a whole. Secondly, the United States should not abolish birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants because it is necessary for the social stability of the United States. It will do this primarily by creating a segment of the population that will be legally discriminated against as an underclass of non-citizens. Apart from the reality of the injustice and folly of creating a section of the population that has no ties nor allegiance to any homeland, the elimination of citizenship status for these children will hamper assimilation to the U.S. American culture and create resentment from these children. The Pew Research Center has said that 3.5% of the population is made up of illegal immigrants. That is 7% of K-12 population. If birthright citizenship is denied to 7% of our population, we will have a significant underclass of non-citizens. Global immigration policy analyst Alex Naurasta reports that when Japan tried the solution to their immigration problem, the only result was creating a group of bitter youths who will still self-identify as foreign, even though for four generations their family had lived in Japan. These youths are more prone to crime and radical ideas. By abolishing birthright citizenship for illegal immigrants, we would create a lower class of bitter, problematic non-citizens. This is not only unfair and cruel to these children, but foolish and detrimental to the whole of U.S. American society. 
Which brings us to the last point for why the United States should not abolish birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants. The United States of America, from its inception, has been a symbol of hope, a land of opportunity, the land of the free. This ideal of a home for refugees to make a new life for themselves and their prosperity unencumbered by government oppression, free to pursue life, liberty, and happiness, remains a constant badge of American identity. Therefore, birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants is necessary for upholding the American ideals of hope and opportunity in a suffering world. Essentially, abolishing birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants goes against our nation's values. As Madeleine Zavadny, an American enterprise scholar, puts it, for more than two centuries, the United States has been a beacon of hope and prosperity to the rest of the world denying people born here the right to fully participate in American society goes against the very foundations of this country and would lead to worse socioeconomic outcomes for those children and their parents. Stripping away the opportunities for education and work, as well as labeling such children as non-citizens, eliminating any sense of pride or allegiance to the country of their birth, shackles and ultimately snuffs out any hope for a future in the land of the free. In other words, putting an end to birthright citizenship goes against all of the great ideals America was founded on. It extinguishes the beacon of hope in, found in America. Therefore, birthright citizenship should not be abolished for children of illegal immigrants. In the heated debate today displayed in the 2016 presidential race over the issue of birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants, we should not lose our historical and moral bearings and should uphold the ideals America was founded upon. In conclusion, apart from the obvious injustice of punishing children for a particular crime of their parents, in addition to upholding the dignity and value of all people created equal, all the while remaining faithful to the principles behind the establishment of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution should not abolish birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants because it is necessary for the economic and social stability of our great nation and for upholding the American ideals.